Hello everyone, welcome to this edition of EVL Gaming Minecraft Tutorials. Today I'm going to show everybody how to uh, to use the basic commands in-game on our server. A lot of people come in having no clue how to do anything. Uh, we do have a free build server that we're running right now. Um, so I'm just going to show you a few of the basics. To give yourself an item, you're going to want to use some commands uh, such as give. You'll notice I'm entering in 278 down there, which is the number for the pickaxe, I believe, and 64 is the amount. And now I have some pickaxes in there. This will work for any sort of block or item. And if you're not sure of what the the item or block ID is called, you can use the lookup command. So I'm going to look up some diamond here. And we've got a big list here of all the different types of diamond. So now I can use give 264 64. And that gives me 64 bits of diamond right there. Uh, another command you can use is clear inventory, which will completely wipe your entire inventory. As for uh, using warps, to create a warp you need to be at the position you want to make a warp at. So let's say we want a warp right here. I'll use set warp. We'll call this warp 555. Created warp point, it says. And now from anywhere in game, I can type warp to warp 555, and I'll go there instantly. Same thing goes for uh, setting homes. You can use slash set home to set your home. And now you can type slash home and you'll go back to your home. Another important thing is spawn. A lot of people like to go to spawn a lot, so you can use slash spawn, and that will take you right over to the spawn. Let's go back to that city. You'll notice that somebody looked to be griefing here, so um, if you are a premium member or an administrator, you can use Cuboid to get rid of some of this stuff. So Cuboid uses the wooden spade or the wooden shovel, which is number 269. And you right click to set one point. And it says first point is set in the chat over there. And then you can select your second point. So to delete this nasty chunk of obsidian, I can use slash C D E L for cuboid delete, and all that stuff is gone. And there's some water over here, so I can uh, work on getting rid of the water. I like to use glass a lot for setting my cuboid points. If I selected a point down here, like one of these concrete blocks, it would completely erase the floor. So I'll set that point there. No, I don't want to do that. If I do that, I'm going to take out part of this building. And I'll come down here, select this obsidian block on the end, do C delete, and it 
gets rid of all that junk over there. So we're going to pretend that this nice gray building up here is something that we made. And sometimes it can be griefed. Now currently, cuboid doesn't, the protection uh, command of cuboid doesn't work at the moment. Which is kind of unfortunate. Uh, all the HMOD stuff that's been going on has caused that to stop working. However, most of Cuboid is still working on our server. So we're going to Cuboid this entire building here. You'll notice I set that glass block down there on the floor as my first point. and I'm gonna hop up here on my magic carpet and select a point up here. If you're using your magic carpet, which is, the command for that is slash MC, you can actually select the magic carpet as some of your points. So, I'm gonna say this end one here. So now I've got my entire building cuboided and selected. And what I want to do first is actually save it as a cuboid. So to do that, you do slash cmod. I'll call this Rye Guys. I'll just call it Jeer Building. I didn't actually make this building though, somebody else did, but I'm just using it to demonstrate. So I've got cmod jeer building, which is going to be the name of this cuboid, and then create. And it'll say cuboid area created successfully. Now, those cuboided points, I can load those up whenever I want. Using cmod jeer building and select. And it will say that I have that selected now. One thing that's important to do, uh, I've got my music on. I don't want my music on. One thing that's important to do is after you're done building something or if you're part way through it, you'll want to back it up. So to do that, you use cmod. You put your your uh, cuboid name. Even if you have it selected, you need to have it named and then you can do a backup. And then we'll say cuboid area successfully backed up. So now this entire building has been backed up. And let's say overnight a mean griefer came in. Oh, come on. Well, I guess I have an axe, but oh, there it is. I see. Uh, you'll notice it's starting to get dark as well. Premium users and admins can change the, the times whenever they want with slash time day or slash time night. And we're going to do a little bit of griefing. And I'm lazy, so I'm just going to use cuboid to take out this entire wall here using the C delete function. And uh, by the way, all of the construction commands in Cuboid can be undone by just using slash undo. But we want to keep that deleted and griefed. So this really isn't all that bad. I suppose I can put some water in here. Water's always annoying. Now I can use the restore command. So I can use cmod jeer building restore. Now the entire building is restored back to its former glory. There's no water in here. Uh, one thing you need to watch out for is uh, you cannot replace signs. Okay, so you'll notice we've got the sign here. 
We'll do the backup. And if we take out the sign and try to restore it, the sign will come back, but it won't be positioned in the same way and it won't have the text. So don't count on signs and things like that to, to be restored. Okay, the next thing we're going to go over is uh, building walls. So I've got this nice tall building over here, and another one over here, and um, the glass part would be a little difficult, but if you want to do just a, a quick building, go ahead and select your first point. And we're not going to do a giant skyscraper, we'll do just a smaller thing. And we'll build something there. Select it. Now we can do a wall system using those two points. It's slash C walls. Then you can type in the material you want to use. So if you want to use stone, just type in a one and it will make it all out of stone. If I wanted to do wood, I can do sea walls 5. Everything's still selected. I can use the grass. I can use dirt. The thing with the walls is it doesn't build a roof, a floor, or a ceiling. So if we come up here, we'll see that everything is hollow for the most part. Now if I want to do a cube, but a hollow cube, I can use slash C faces, do one, and now we've got basically a big hollow cube inside of there. I can also do slash C fill with one, and now this is entirely filled with stone. And then, of course, I can do C delete to completely remove all of it, or use slash undo to bring it back. But we'll keep that deleted for now. So that's the basic gist of how cuboid works. You'll notice this flat land around me was probably cuboided um, by an administrator or a premium member. But it looks kind of kind of off, I guess you could say. So I can select that and fill it with dirt if I want. Then I can select the top part and fill it with grass if I am so inclined to do so. and underneath is still the regular dirt. And we'll do a delete to delete all that. We'll do another one. <clears throat> and now it's back to the way it was, aside from a few grass patches here. And that's about it. There's a few more things in Cuboid, some more advanced features that uh, I'll go over later in another tutorial. Thanks for watching. Check out our website at evlgaming.com. And if you're interested in the music that's been playing in the background, you can check out the website and click audio. That would be our February audio compilation playing in the background. Thanks for watching.